The Greene County Fairgrounds opened its 2010 meet in Waynesburg, Pennsylvania, with freshmen in action, kicked off by a wire-to-wire -wire win by Vocal Hanover in the first division of the Pennsylvania Sire Stake two-year-old Philly Pace. Trained and driven by Aaron Johnston, Vocal Hanover cut the first half in 59-4 and four before holding on for a 2.02 and 4-5th win. Love You Always and trainer driver Steve Schofel got up in the final strides in the second division to defeat at her best Hanover and driver Bernard DeMars. The final time was 2.03 and 4 fifths. Side second, down the stretch they come. At her best Hanover, Love You Always on the outside. Love You Always on the outside. The third split belonged to Coasting Hanover, a Dragon Again filly out of the Jim Rothfuss barn. Driven by Brad Provost, Coasting Hanover scored in 209. The last Philly pacing group winner was Another Bliss in rain to Kyle Bolin. It's Another Bliss on the outside, all over the track. You make Gever on the outside, countless goal. It's Another Bliss. Three Colt pacing events were next and Stripe and Star was strong in his division, winning in 2.03 and 3 for driver Chris Shaw. Jason Shaw owns and trains. Fool to Cry overcame a second tier starting spot to win the second split in 2.03 and 1 for driver Eric Neal and trainer Randy Neal. Down the stretch, Fool to Cry, a flying on the outside! In the final division, Evening Shadows continued his perfect campaign for owner-trainer Charles Von C., who ships the horse in weekly from the state of Indiana. Evening Shadows, a gelding by Blissful Hall, had post seven in the second tier, and driver Chris Shaw worked his way to the front early and never looked back, cruising to an impressive win under wraps in 2.01 and 1.5 the last half in 59-2. It was the Pacers' sixth straight win to start his career. Two $5,999 divisions of the freshman Colt Trot were next, and Hot Hot Broadway was a winner for trainer driver Fred Uber in the first division in 208 and 2 fifths. In the second group, Cadence Hall won in 206 and 2 for trainer driver Bill Doherty. Down the stretch they trot, Cadence Hall, auto with a rush, American Generation, it's Cadence Hall! In the first division of the Pennsylvania Sire Stake Philly Trot, Kelpie Hanover was a winner for trainer driver Marty Wallam in 205 and 1, a lifetime best. So, Kelpie Hanover and Marty Wallam drawn away. The second division was led by Mina Hanover, an easy winner for Schofel in 207 and 3. For the wire, it's all Mina Hanover drawn away. By six. Finally, the third Philly trot was won by Philly Bay, who came up the inside to get the win in 209 and 1 fifth for trainer driver Bill Fay. It was the first career win for Philly Bay, a daughter of Chip Chip Hooray. Later in the day, in a two year old Quaker trot, M.M.'s Copper Touch won his first career start in 2.14-1 for trainer driver Brian Weaver. The second day of action started with a bang and a PA Sire State Colt pace as Well Al B, racing at his home track, established a new all-age track record, winning in 157-4. Brad Provost drove the winner for trainer Kristen Spahn and owner Beulah Bigley. A later Colt pacing division was won by Bay Shark, Catch driven by Ty Loy for trainer Janet Irvine. It's Bay Shark with the lead. Stately's revenge, late pace, but it's too late. Three Philly pacing divisions were up next, and Rosa Tina scored in the first group, pacing in 205 for trainer driver Loy. Bob Key owns the Philly. Fluffy Slippers recorded an upset win in another Philly pacing division, her first career victory in her 31st start. Owned by Vincent and Scott Aiello, Fluffy Slippers is trained by Jeff Indoff and was driven by Jordan Miller. The winning time was 2.04 and 4 fifths. In a $5,788 division to the three-year-old Colt Trot, Southwind Nitro scored by open lengths in 2.03 and 4 for trainer driver Bill Doherty. Three groups of three-year-old Philly trotters ended sire stake action on the day, and Belladonna, trained and driven by Provost, won the first group for owner Bob Key. 
The winning time was 2.08 and 3 fifths, and it was the Phillies' first win in 21 career outings. Keystone Fling won in 2.06 and 4 for trainer driver Steve Schoffel in the second division. They've got an eighth of a mile to trot on top. Keystone Fling, Wiss Canover, St. Patty's Page, third. Coming to the wire, it's all Keystone Fling. In the final division, Cummings and Goings, trained and driven by Randy Neal, went wire to wire in 2.06 and 2 for her fourth win in nine starts. Randy and Cliff Neal co own. In a Quaker pace, River Bloom picked up her first career win, going wire to wire in 2.04 and 1 fifth for owner driver Corey Kreiser. It's River Bloom into the stretch, late for work, closing on the outside second, but it's all River Bloom and Corey Kreiser.